Tide 603 here, Tuesday, August 27th. 71 degrees already right now with some patchy fog. Sunny and hot later. Highs in the mid-90s. Good morning, I'm John Doman. And I'm Michelle Bash. Yes, it seems we're in for a muggy Tuesday with temps expected to feel like close to 100 degrees and poor air quality levels for parts of our area. 7 News First Alert Brian, uh, First Alert Meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff with more. We're back to the heat and humidity. The combination today means that it'll feel at times like the mid to upper 90s. The air temperature will read maybe 92, 93, but it'll feel much hotter. But in addition today, the air will be rather stagnant. There's not a lot of movement around there. And our ground level ozone, which is not a good thing, those levels will be higher. So it's an unhealthy air quality day, a code orange day. A code orange air quality alert means air pollution will be concentrated enough that it could become unhealthy for sensitive groups. Now in Prince George's County, the school system hoping that kids won't be stuck outside in this heat and humidity waiting for the bus. Last year, there were big issues with its bus program due in large part to a staffing shortage. WTOP's Mike Morello has more on the changes. This year, our theme in terms of transportation is about progress, not perfection. From delays to no-show buses, the school system saw a rough year last year. In response, some changes have been made, starting with creating fewer start and dismissal times. Superintendent Millard House II. A year ago, we had 15 different start and stop times. This year, we've narrowed that to three. Also, a transportation contractor is on board to provide help since only 74% of bus positions are filled. Kiba Baldwin, director of transportation, says they continue to try to fill those spots but can't offer more money. We offer summers off. From that standpoint, you can have the same schedule as your kids. He says they plan to begin assessing the bus program in about 10 days after things settle for the new school year. Mike Marillo, WTOP News. The school system this year also offering an app for parents to track and find school bus stops. What would you do after winning five medals at the Olympics? Well, Arlington native and swimmer Tori Husk took a few weeks off, but she's heading back in the water for the first time since collecting all that hardware at the Paris Olympics. She took a minute to talk with WTOP's Kyle Cooper. So I think it was about three weeks. Husk had just finished her workout since winning all those medals. Just really easy swimming. We talked out on the deck of her home. Has what she accomplished settled in? I mean, words can't really describe it. I mean, I have been wanting that for so long. Like, I can't even describe how much I wanted that. She's also grateful for her fans and loves inspiring kids. I do remember the first time I realized kind of that kids look up to me was when this little girl came to a signing and she told me that she had named her American Girl doll after me. Husk is also passionate about using her celebrity for good. Recently inviting fans to bring canned goods to a signing event, they responded with over 920 pounds of food. Kyle Cooper, WTOP News. Well, now get ready for round two of the Summer Games. The Paralympic Games start tomorrow in Paris. WTOP's Luke Lukert says you'll see a lot of local athletes there competing. Shot putter and discus thrower Samantha Hyacin is already highly decorated, capturing two bronze medals at the 2023 World Para Athletics Championships. The 19-year-old Adamstown native was born with constricted band syndrome and now competes for Wake Forest University. Paralympic gold medalist Nick Mayhew will be returning for his second games. The Manassas native, who has cerebral palsy, captured three gold medals in Tokyo for sprinting. And Mount Airy native Daniel Romanchuk is back for his third games. The wheelchair athlete took home gold in the 400 meter and bronze in the marathon in Tokyo. Luke Luger, WTOP News. Coming up on WTOP in Money News, what a food delivery service is doing to try to stop people from lying about their orders. Traffic and weather in 30 seconds.